my name is Rui Trejo. And I'm Sonny Kwan. And we're going to take apart a computer. Yeah. So how do we take this thing apart? I see well, a button here. And there's a button here, so let's press down on them. Just lift the top half of the case. Wow, this thing looks really complicated. Yeah, it's uh, easier than it looks like, so. Alright, so. Uh, uh, what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna unplug the power cable to make sure this thing won't uh, set off on us. So, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna pull this off. Uh, make sure not to. Uh, pull really hard or else you can damage pieces and that will affect the performance of the machine. What else should we disconnect? Well, uh, we should also disconnect the CD drive, the hard drive. So, okay. what you do is uh, you pull this, this little card thing uh, away from the drive and this basically connects it to the motherboard of the computer and uh, there's also this little power cable here so you just Gently pull that off. And right here is where it connects to the board, and we'll just set the cable aside. And right here is what's called the as a SATA cable. Those pull off really easily, and just set them aside. All right. Mm. What about these little, these little pieces here? Should we take them out? Yes, those are the RAM chips. So, uh, I'll get one and you get one. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna press down on these little clips with an ample amount of force. Grab it from the sides. Make sure not to touch uh, the little black pieces, and we'll just set them aside over here. What about this? What about this thing right here? Oh, that's a processor fan. We'll get to that right now. And, and we still have the power supply hooked up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug all of these cables that run along into this. So if you can get this cable here, I'll grab this cable here. All right. All right. It's here in order to remove it completely from the computer itself. So if you may get this cable, I'll get this cable. All right. All right. They're hooked up with these little tabs to make sure they're secure. And so and just uh, press down on the little tab and you should be able to uh, remove it from its port. Now, this, there's these little um, anchors on the machine, so we're just going to pull these up. And pull off the cable. Now, to remove the whole power supply from the machine, what we're going to do is we're going to press down on this green button. All right. All right. Press down on it and uh, slide the power supply uh, thusly. <clears throat> you have to hear it click. Hmm. So what else do we need to uh, disconnect? Well, we need to disconnect the sound cable and the uh, cable for the fan. So, if you may get the sound cable, I'll get the, the cable for the fan. And to remove the cable for the fan, you, you you squeeze down on the little tab and you pull it out. And for the sound cable, you just you just pull it out, nice and easy. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we're gonna remove the CD drive and the hard drive. These are usually uh, uh, secured with these green tabs, so if you might pull out the CD drive, I'll pull out the hard drive. Alright, and just set them aside. And now we will take off the processor fan, so. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, lift on these. Uh, there we go. 
and now we will to remove the fan we will pull these out and may you lift the processor fan So we're now down to the processor itself. This is a different kind of processor than you're usually used to. This is referred to as an LGA775 processor, a bit of a technical term. And to remove these processors, you put your finger in between this uh, little loop, press down, and you guide your finger along so you can remove it outward. Lift the uh, locking mechanism and you can just grab the processor and see how this one doesn't have any pins sticking out because the pins are on the bottom of the uh, motherboard. All right. We should place that safely on the table. Yes. Make sure not to touch the top of these processors because it, it's coated with something called thermal compound. Usually what that does is it helps the heat travel to the processor fan. Do not touch this. And make sure to remove all dirt lint whatsoever from the fan before you put it back in. And so it can have better performance. So we just taken apart a computer. So now we're going to put it in the processor back into its socket. It has these little notches uh, around the chip, so make sure you line them up with the ones on the motherboard. So just load it in nice and easy, just like that. Set down the hatch for it to lock in. And gently push down on the, on the lever and make sure it locks in. And now we're going to put it in our heat sink. <coughs> Put in these clips back in so the processor will stay nice and secure. We don't want this thing to move at all. So make sure you line up the tabs with the holes and make sure that they lock in completely. All right. And the same for the other side. So, how's it look, Sonny? Hmm. It looks pretty good. What else do we put uh, now? What else do we put back now? The RAM? Yeah. Now, when you're putting in the RAM, make sure to line up the, uh, the notches uh, with the parts on the motherboard. Because uh, uh, they're set up a certain way, so. need to put them back into slots in order to make sure that these lock into place just press on on either side and it also helps to push the tabs back up and make sure that they make a clicking noise and that will ensure that they are locked in tight just a little more on this side and a little more on that one all right want to get the sound cable I don't know where it is. There you go. Alright. I'll just plug in the fan cable again. Just slide it in and you're good. Alright. Now we're going to put in our drives. So you can put in the CD drive again. I'll put in the hard drive. Just make sure you slide in correctly. Make sure that the label is facing the top of the computer.
then for the hard drive, you just line it up and you slide it in. Make sure it locks in nice and tight. And now we're going to put in the power supply. In order to put in the power supply, make sure that uh, nothing is obstructing the path of the power supply and just set it over here. Make sure it fits in nice and snug. And once you make sure that it's pretty much uh, stable, what you're going to do is you're going to slide it thusly and make sure that it clicks. Alright. Now, want to help me get this uh, back into the anchors, Sonny? I will try. Alright. Whenever you're putting back these cables, make sure to line up the 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 cable work uh, with its uh, corresponding tab. And for the inkers, just make sure that you get anything obstructing the path. And lift the tab. Make sure it's nice and good. And lock it in. Just press down on the little tabs of the anchors, and that will secure them. Grab in the other wire out of the way. And. Alright. Want to help me out with this one? Alright. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, plug in the, the hard drive and the CD drive and the power cable. So, power cable will go here. take this cable here and make sure that this end goes into the blue port on the motherboard and that this end goes all the way to the hard drive itself. And that's how you get it. Want to help with the CD drive? Sure! Alright. Make sure that this uh, slips right into the port of the CD drive. Alright. In order to put it in the cable to the motherboard, make sure you put it into this port. Make sure that it lines up with the holes. You may want to turn that around. There you go. Like so? No. The way this plugs in is uh, you, you, know, you make sure that you have the cable facing this way and you slide it in. Make sure that it locks into place and now we will get the last of the power cables uh, for the hard drive and the CD drive. There is a, de a designated cable for these drives based off of the standard interface which are these little black ones. For the CD drive, it's these little small ones that you'd usually find on a floppy drive. I'll just grab it and make sure that you can feel it uh, start locking into place and you push in. And for that one, you just slide it into this port here. This one with this one or this one with this one? This one. All right, we have all the cable work done, and uh, how about we go try this out? All right, let's close this thing and move it back to the tables. All right. Yes, yes it, it works. works.